Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This is the tutorial for level 5. This is not a beginner or advanced uh, route. This level really only has one route. Uh, at the center of this level is a crossroads. Every time you die, you will respawn here. Uh, the order that the tears come in from you know, facing from the start of the level. The first tear will be on the right, the second tear will be on the left, the third tear will be straight forward, and then the vid window will be to the left again. But we start by going to the right. This level, you'll notice, has all of these, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, sidebars, these ramps. Uh, this level is great for practicing ramp jumps. Uh, to get wherever you need to go. It's not too slow if you need to just take whatever paths there are. Uh, but if you can do, you know, little little jumps here and there, that, that does save time. Uh, with each tear in this level, there is a key. The first key is along this upper path with the vid window right after where uh, the tear spawns. It's not too hard to make these jumps across, but it's a little tricky, so if, again, if you need to go the long way around this path, it's not that bad. I would recommend collecting the key before you mend the tear. But if you can't get to the key in time, it's fine to just mend the tear and get the key after. Each of the tear timers uh, in this level are pretty long, so you're not crunched for time needing to mend tears immediately. Oh, I meant to say, uh, so when you're coming back from the first tear after you've gotten the tear and the key, uh, just go straight to the next tear. You can also keep an eye on the top right corner. There's the radar with the arrow that points to uh, the next tear. That should usually give you a good idea of where to go. Uh, this path just bends around, so I usually do a skip right here. I also do one through this building. I think none of the buildings in this level have any collision, so you're good to just jump through all of them. Uh, there is a dialogue that pops up here with Mike the TV, right about here. If this dialogue pops up when you're waiting for the tear to spawn, uh, when the tear tries to spawn, it will delay the tear spawning. So it's best if you can avoid that trigger by jumping around this corner. That just stops the dialogue from happening. Similarly, with the first tear end key, it is possible to get this key before the tear spawns, but you need to be doing your movement basically perfectly to get here in time to do that. If the tear has spawned before you can get that key, just mend the tear and go to the third tear. Uh, I also do a jump over this corner to avoid that Mike the TV dialogue on the way back. Um, just because those dialogues can lag the game a bit, slow things down. Now, for the third tear, uh, rather than go back to the crossroads and take the next path, I jump back down here and then just jump straight onto the path. There's a bunch of bombs in this path, but just like with level 4, they don't do a whole lot of damage to you. So you're fine to just run through them. Uh, right here, as you're going along this path, there is a, an upgrade to the blaster that is fairly hard to get, but I really think it's worth getting now. You can upgrade the blaster in later levels, but it's really nice to have this at level 2 for level 7. Um, so I, I think it's absolutely worth practicing and learning this jump, even though it is a little intimidating. So what I do is I start crouching for the jump, I hold forward, and then 
I jump as I leave the platform and just start holding right and R1 to turn and strafe. Ah. As often happens, thinking about the jump too much made me fail it. It's not that bad once you once you do it a few times. Just right and strafe. And you should be able to jump in such a way that you collect the power up as well as get over the uh the gap. Um there's a skip up to this tear that I'll show in just a minute, but if you don't want to do that, just Continue down this path. Throw a couple of blaster shots at any turrets in the way. The turrets in this level only take one fully charged blaster shot at level one to break. Uh, and it's only a few shots as well once you're at the level two blaster. So you can mend the tear here. And then uh, the key is up in the corner there. The way the game intends for you to do this is a little bit of ramp platforming, which obviously is a little hard when you're just starting out, but there's a much easier jump using this ramp right here, or if you prefer this one here, uh, where you can just, as long as you're strafing up the ramp, you can very, very easily jump up here. I think, uh, I remember when I was starting, I was actually having some trouble with the platforming across here, and using these side railings is just much, much easier. Okay, so, going back for a second, there's a skip that, if you watch one of my runs, you'll see I do, using this ABC tank. What I do is I line myself up so I am parallel with the wall ahead of me. Roughly parallel, it doesn't have to be exact. There's actually quite a bit of leeway on this. I want to be parallel with that wall so that if I go forward, I'll be just to the left of this railing here. If I just hold forward. Then, as the tank passes me, I start holding forward and try to jump on it. This is a cycle-based thing, so how much time it saves depends on which cycle you catch. Uh, this is fairly hard. I would not recommend this when you're just starting out. It's a lot of fun if you want to try to practice it, but don't feel like you have to do it in runs. Uh, do a left strafe just before you hit the railing to help you get a little bit of extra height to get up there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's worth trying out at least. At the very least because it's fun, because the platforming in this game is a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, those are the ways to get up to this tear end key. Once you're up here, you'll see there's a road to the side there. Um, if you get up here using this railing, you basically grab the key and then continue to the right to this road. And then if you jump off of the railing straight ahead, you're right back at the crossroads at the start of the level. And you can just continue forward. This is the direction to the vid window and probably the last key if you haven't grabbed this key yet. Again, bombs don't do much damage. Don't worry about them. Jump through this building and jump to avoid the Mike the TV dialogue again. And then there's this platforming. If you want to be fast, you can jump onto the first rotating platform from this ramp as you're approaching. That'll probably save a little bit of time. These platforms can be a little bit of a little bit tricky to uh, to jump across. You do want to treat them as ramps, so you want to jump off of them while they're facing up. Like so. If you try to jump off of them while they're facing down, you're almost definitely not going to make the jump. You just kind of fall off, or your jump will push you forward instead of up, basically. 
like that. So what you want to do is set yourself up here so that you can just jump onto the platforms as they orient themselves in the right direction for you. And when you do that, it's as easy as just holding up and doing a couple of jumps. Hold up, jump. Forward, hold up, and jump. And that's how to get this key. Uh, if you're getting this key as the last collectible, you can make a jump from here over to the last path. Um, the thing I just picked up is another pistol upgrade, but the pistol is already at its highest level, so it doesn't do anything for us. But if you somehow have not leveled it up yet, you can get it to level 3 from here. Uh, if you already got that key and you're just heading to the vid window, I believe you can jump here, yeah, from right here. You might even be able to do it from this platform if you get a... <laughs> a pretty good jump, but uh, that's that's maybe more optimization than anybody needs to be doing. Okay, and then you'll notice the vid window is right there. If you're still not feeling comfortable doing the jumps between the roads, then just carry on through this path. There will be a couple of bombs you see and a couple of turrets. Just follow this path and it will take you to the vid window. If you are comfortable with platforming, then use the railings to immediately jump to cut this road, and then you can jump straight from here to the vid window. And that saves a lot of time. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below, or feel free to ask in the Discord.